the cable that everybody thinks of, the old guy, he got killed. But here's the thing, he got killed by himself when he was like 16 years old. So the cable that we've got here, he's the same guy. He's just a lot younger than you're used to. He's going to see the world a little bit differently than older cable. He's not, you know, that grizzled, old, you know, veteran of war. This is the story of uh, a young soldier uh, who hasn't uh, seen the world end a bunch, and so he's more fun and untethered. It's really exciting to have Jerry Duggan and Phil Noto on this book. They are an incredible team. They're also really good friends, so they love working together. He and I have the same ideas uh, for Cable. I think we're going to surprise some people. Don't want to tease too much. Um, there's some excitement about a sword and whose sword that is and whether or not Cable should be using it. Jerry writes terrific stories, and then basically tease Phil up to draw the most beautiful pages he possibly can. I'm biased, but this is Phil Noto's very best work. Whether you loved him for Star Wars or you loved his Black Widow, uh, you will love his Kid Cable even more. It's not photorealistic, but it has a photography-like quality to it. Just absolutely beautiful art. Every time we get pages in, we're just blown away. For readers who aren't necessarily familiar with Cable, this is a great jumping on point because it is Cable earlier in his life, you're getting in at the Cable ground floor. If you think you know Cable, you don't. However, you're gonna enjoy the same big action, big guns, and big fun when he's a kid. Crisscross tiptoe, what you going in for? I said the bar ain't no need to go in limbo. Slinger, they can stole, yep, I said the tempo. Catch me in the sky like I...